guys and welcome back to my channel i know it has been a hot minute but things have been crazy here we are about five weeks away from our big move to orlando and i actually just got off work and we are heading straight to the airport we're literally just grabbing our bags and taking off and it's going to be wild it's a red eye flight we arrive at 7 a.m in orlando and we're just gonna go straight to apartment hunting so Let's go. <laughs> have been apartment hunting all morning and we stopped by Disney Springs to have lunch. We're currently at homecoming, which it's my first time. I've heard really good things. It's really loud in here. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I will show you guys what I got and I will give you a little food review when I am done. <laughs> Okay, so we are done eating. Lunch was really good. Um, I'd probably give it overall like a six out of 10, but I will talk more about it later. But until then, let's go look for some more apartments. So we just wrapped up apartment hunting. I look like a mess because it ended up raining on us and now it's super hot again, so it's humid. But you know what? I was too excited to be at Animal Kingdom Lodge for dinner that I had to show you guys where I was at and give you guys a little update. This morning started off a little bit crazy. We had a few negative um, apartment viewings. They just were our thing but it definitely picked up. We definitely found a few that we ended up absolutely loving and it got us really excited to live here and to have lunch at Disney Springs. It just felt so magical. I definitely am excited to share more with you guys and also I need to add this resort to my bucket list. It already was on my bucket list but it's so beautiful and like just seeing giraffes and all the wild animals. It's been so much fun. I will definitely add clips of what we have for dinner at Senna and give you an update on that. And we also wanted to update you on lunch at homecoming. I would say overall, pretty fun experience. What do you think? Service was really good. So yeah, service was amazing and food was pretty good too. I mean, we had a few misses on our dishes. And we, for some people, portion size isn't a um, big thing, but 
The portions were ginormous, like way too big. Yeah, we can't take leftovers because we are flying out in a few days and we just don't have time. So the portions are ginormous, which I'm sure you saw, but overall delicious. We got the cauliflower appetizers, which were like spicy honey cauliflower rings. And those were probably my favorite thing that I had. Um, and then overall, just a good environment. We only had like a five minute wait with at lunchtime, which was nothing. So highly recommend going there. And I will give you an update at dinner once we go. Hi guys, so obviously I am back home now. I thought I would sit down and kind of chat with you guys um, to kind of give you an idea of what was going on on our trip. I was staying with my aunt, so I wasn't able to like give a nightly recap at the end of the day like I wanted to. Um, when you're staying in someone's house, it's super like uncomfortable to vlog in and I was also trying to spend time with my family. So that is why I am giving you all the recap right now. I figured we'd sit down and talk to you about apartments and about the restaurants and that way it was all in one place. So I know this vlog is little bit all over the place but we are still learning what we are doing um so to start off i thought we would talk about apartment hunting as you saw in animal kingdom lodge i was telling you how it started off a little bumpy and maybe not perfect that was very hectic let's just say that the first few apartments we looked at were really really not it um besides the fact that like on a superficial level, I wanted a certain aesthetic. I wanted white cabinets and everything had like old painted dark cabinets. I, it just wasn't my thing. But more importantly, the cleanliness of a few of the apartments we looked at were just awful. There were a few that had a bunch of like dead bug carcasses all over the place. And I do get it's like Florida, there are bugs, but it was just weird because it was little things like that. Like they couldn't vacuum before showing us a place was kind of a red flag of like maybe how maintenance was. And we just want to be really, really picky and cautious when we are like applying to these places. Um, and for me, like cleanliness is like a non-negotiable. I don't want to live in a place that feels yucky. I want to feel in a, like live in a place that I feel comfortable and like walking the halls feels clean and safe. So the first few, like I said, were a little bit disheartening. I was worried that that would be kind of the tone for our whole apartment hunting. But thankfully, like after we had lunch, we checked two places um, and one of them was beautiful, but <laughs> The trick was, it was the model home. So the model home itself was gorgeous. We loved it. We loved the view. Um, we loved the cabinetry. But when we were talking to the apartment guide, he was saying that not all the apartments look like this and this is kind of their nicest one. And then he showed us a few of the other like models that would be available to rent and they were definitely not even close to being up to our standards so it was really disheartening because we were really excited about this one place and then to see that that's not really what it looked like 
It was just so, so weird. But exciting news is we found a top two and I will say, cause I can't, I'm not going to say exactly the name of the apartments because of safety, but also if you guys are ever wanting to talk about moving and like where not to go, I will happily discuss that in my DMs. But um, we did find a top two. And so now we are just going to keep our eye out on these two apartments, kind of keeping an eye out on availability for the dates we want to move in, but also keeping an eye out on the cost because the costs change every single day and we have a rate that we want to stay in between so when they go higher obviously we cannot apply for them but hopefully there's a lot of availability in both of these places that hopefully we will be able to get them at the rate we want and be able to like lock it in and move by the end of the year. Okay, so now that we know that we have two places that we love and that we can keep an eye out for, we both were feeling a lot better. So we were trying to make the most of our time. So we went to a different resort almost every day. So we went to the boardwalk. As you saw, we went to Ohana at the Polynesian one morning for breakfast. And then we just kind of visited all these different resorts and different restaurants. So it was a lot of fun and it felt like insight of what was going to be when we moved. Um, so for the boardwalk, we had breakfast. I don't quite know how to pronounce it, but at Tratio Al Forno, I think something like that. Um, I actually have been there before. I really like it. I always get their Al Forno eggs, which are basically like tomato eggs and um, some spices and bread. And it is so, so yummy. And then um, also they have really good iced coffee and overall just a great environment. And then we spent the morning at the boardwalk, like walking the loop and just walking through the sand and sitting on the swings. And it was a lot of fun. And then the next morning we had breakfast at Ohana and actually it was so much fun. Hayden actually booked Ohana without knowing it was character dining. Um, I knew it was character dining, so I didn't even like bring it up. I didn't talk to him. He's just like, hey, we're going to breakfast at Ohana's. And then when we went, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm like, why are there characters? And I was like, okay you need to learn Disney better, but it made it so much fun. Um, it was really fun to like interact with the characters. They were all like super, super like funny and in a good mood. The food itself was amazing. They had great vegetarian options since I don't really eat meat. So it was really nice to have like something besides eggs. <laughs> and overall, I would definitely go back. We talked about like bringing our moms when they come visit us. And honestly, it was such a good time. Um, I did lightly talk about um, homecoming, but I will give you guys a quick little like review. So overall, it was really, really good. There were a few things that I wasn't a fan of. So that's kind of why I like knocked it a few points, but I would definitely go back and I would highly recommend the honey cauliflower rings. So, so good. Um, and the country fried steak Hayden said was delicious. He said it was so good, but it was like really big. So bring your appetite. Um, and then for Sana, so this one's a little hard for me because um, it is like African inspired food. I grew up with a lot of these types of foods like curries and lentils and whatnot. Um, so I feel like maybe I'm a little bit picky, um, but everybody hyped up these foods so much. And I will say our like time in Sana was a little bit disappointing. The food was okay, it just wasn't like, rant worthy i don't really feel the need to go back like if i were going to go back to animal kingdom to eat i would try one of the other restaurants i was a little disappointed overall just in their service too our waitress was really really not feeling it she didn't want to be there and i am not someone who like complains about people but her vibe kind of threw off all our vibes we were like oh like I'm sorry we're bothering you. I won't get too much into it because I don't wanna knock my experience off someone else having a bad day, but I will say overall, I was a little disappointed. I would probably like rate Sana maybe like a five out of 10. And let me know in the comments if you guys have had a better experience and actually like, I should go back, give it another chance. But I will say like, it was a beautiful restaurant. It was like a really fun, like the bread service was so fun to try all those different like chutneys and sauces with the naans. Um, and I just like left kind of disappointed. 
but I mean, the experience is great. So if you really want to go, I still suggest it. Um, but the whole Animal Kingdom Lodge itself is beautiful. And we went and got like um, ice cream bars before our reservation was ready. So we kind of had dessert before dinner and it was so much fun. Um, overall, a great experience, but I don't know if I can fully recommend Sana. So we obviously accomplished a lot in these four days. I was able to view at least like 50 apartments and we narrowed it down to a top two, which honestly wasn't hard. The two that we loved stood way above the, the rest. And we tried a lot of new restaurants and it got us so excited for what life will look like when we do move. But overall, really, really successful four days. And I honestly can't wait to move now. I am so excited to call Orlando my home. The weather was beautiful. Everybody was so friendly. And it was kind of weird going to Orlando, like not to go to the parks. I didn't go to any of the Disney parks to Universal. We just went to like the downtown areas, um, like Disney Springs. And we actually also visited um, the Universal City Walk, which I didn't really capture a lot of footage from, but it was a like, it was so fulfilling knowing that like that's going to be home and like that is like, going to be our future and honestly i am so ready so ready to just pack our u-hauls and go if i could i would literally leave like tomorrow but it does not work like that. So I am so thankful that you guys stayed this long for the video. I know it was a little hectic. I know it was a little bit of everything, but I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>